Today I'll be reading a prayer by Martin Luther. You meditate on the passion of Christ, all right, when you become terror-stricken in heart at the sight and your conscience sinks in despair. Recognise you are the one who martyred Christ, for your sins most surely did. Therefore, when you see the nails piercing his hands, firmly believe it is your work. Do you behold his crown of thorns? Believe the thorns are your wicked thoughts. Now see that where one thorn pierces Christ, more than a thousand thorns should pierce you. Yes, and they should do so eternally. Where one nail is driven through his hand, you should eternally suffer this same fate. Jesus commanded the woman who wept for him, do not weep for me, weep for yourselves and for your children. In other words, learn from my martyrdom what you deserve and how you should be rewarded. Now, if you are not able to believe, then you should pray to God for faith. But rouse yourself to this end. First, do not behold Christ's sufferings any longer, for they have already done their work and terrified you. Instead, behold how full of love is Christ's friendly heart towards you. Love that constrained him to bear the heavy load of your sin. In this way, your heart will be sweet towards him and the assurance of your faith will be strengthened then ascend higher through the heart of Christ to the heart of God. See that Christ would not have been able to love you if God had not willed it in eternal love. There you will find the good fatherly heart of God and so be drawn to the Father through Christ. When your heart is established in Christ in this way and you are an enemy of sin, out of love rather than out of fear of punishment. Only then should Christ's sufferings also be an example for your life. Then you should meditate on his sufferings in a different way. So far, we have considered Christ's passion as a work of Christ that we receive. Now we may consider it as a work that we should imitate. For example, if a day of sickness weighs you down, Think how trifling that is compared with the nails of Christ. If you must do something that is distasteful to you, think how Christ suffered for your sake.